You can read more about many of the stories in this week's show in the current issue of Mohawk Valley Living Magazine, available the first of the month at hundreds of advertiser locations and online at mohawkvalleyliving.com. The Steet Ponte Auto Group in Yorkville and Herkimer and Turnbull Insurance Service since 1866 present Mohawk Valley Living, exploring the arts, culture, and heritage of our region. Good morning and welcome to Mohawk Valley Living. Autumn is in the air. It's my favorite time of the year. So join us as we explore autumn in the Mohawk Valley. Growing young, virgin tongue, all your song is yet unsung. On a knee, he's with the bees. Let's go climb up that tree. Let's stay this, this way for well, this month's article, we talk about Charles Adrian. He was a native of Utica, Spanish-American war veteran, longtime member of the New York National Guard. And he was one of the, uh, relatively speaking, handful of Americans who ended up laying down his life in combat during the First World War. Uh, Adrian went overseas in 1917, and he was a, uh, a higher ranking non-commissioned officer by that time. He was. Uh, 40 or 41 years old when he actually went to uh, went to France and uh, he was wounded in action in uh, late September and on the 1st of October 1918 passed away from his wounds. This exhibit talks about Charles Adrian's sacrifice. We remember him today. He's the namesake of uh, an American Legion post here in Utica and also uh, for the, uh, the Adrian townhomes up on Culver Avenue. But through his experience, we want to remember all of the veterans who uh, either laid down their lives or um, got in the uniform and went to, uh, to fight as a part of the American Expeditionary Forces in France in 1917 and 1918. So his exhibit, or his, um, his materials, are just one part of a larger exhibit that relates to the history of World War I which is quite often overshadowed, of course, by World War II and uh, the Korean and Vietnam conflicts. But World War I really set the stage for the 20th century, and its effects were felt very strongly right here in, in Utica, uh, this multicultural city that had large ethnic enclaves from both sides of the conflict. So we hope that uh, people will come in and get a better understanding of what that war meant to this area. It's not what you take or give. It's here I want to be. Oh, I'm, I'm making this really my own. Trust your personal, business, and life insurance planning to a local company with over 150 years of serving the community. Turn to Turnbull Insurance. Call today to see what we can do for your family or business. 735-9201 or visit turnbull-insurance.com. The Steet Ponte Auto Group is proud to bring Mohawk Valley Living to you each week, serving the Utica area and the Valley with outstanding customer service. In Yorkville at Steet Ponte Ford Lincoln Mazda, Steet Ponte Volkswagen, and Steet Toyota Scion. And in Herkimer at Steet Ponte Chevrolet. Stop in and see why it's so easy to do business with Steet Ponte. Enjoy a free concert on Friday, October 26th, when Herkimer College presents Low Strung, Yale University's all cello rock band. It's free and open to the public on Friday, October 26th at 7 p.m. at Herkimer College's Sarkis Bush Theater. Fall is our favorite season at the Fly Creek Cider Mill. With our fresh sweet cider stacked apple room and our very own fudge and cheese, you've got the perfect recipe for a delicious visit. To celebrate, we're giving away free fall favorites with our It's Crunch Time coupon craze. Get a $25 gift card, meal deals, a free half gallon of cider, and more. We're a short drive from anywhere in the Mohawk Valley, close to Cooperstown. For more information, visit flycreek.com. For over 70 years, Locally owned Whiteman Lumber has been the place to find quality, locally sourced hardwood. Buy direct from the manufacturer through our retail outlet in Portlandville, New York. Learn more at whitemanlumber.com. 
If you crave the unique, shop the 50-plus vendors at the Newport Marketplace Top Notch Garden Center, featuring over 40 vendors of antiques and vintage items, as well as all of your gardening needs, like mulch, seeds, perennials, trees, statuary, and bird baths. The Newport Marketplace Top Notch Garden Center, Route 28 in Newport. Fall fashions are fluttering in to the Village Crossing. Get comfy with soft, warm, organic cotton and hemp, many items made in the USA, at the Village Crossing, West Park Row in Clinton. Shop the 3,000 square feet spilling over with antiques at the Potting Shed, specializing in American coins, costume jewelry, and fine jewelry, as well as early lighting, stoneware, china, and furniture. The Potting Shed, over 40 years in the same location at 52 Oriskany Boulevard in Whitesboro. Expecting company? Just call Deansboro Superette. They prepare delicious Middle Eastern platters for any number of guests. Call 841-4377. There was music in the valley. There was music in the air. There was music on October is when many summer farm markets end or move indoors. The Oneida County Public Market in Utica is open every Saturday through October and then moves inside the train station the second and fourth Saturdays through the winter. The farm stands are brimming with the autumn harvest. We visit some of the many unique vendors at the market. Oh, we've been around, I don't know, maybe seven years now. Why did you start the company? Uh, I had a lot of different jobs. I was kind of sick of having bosses. <laughs> so we started our own farm and when I went my, met my wife, she was still making the granola, so we kind of did more of the granola. We only had the one home style flavor, so now we got many, and we play around the flavors a lot with limited editions. And then, and what's special about your granola? Uh, it's all gluten free and vegan. You can't find that much anywhere. And what's some of the flavors, and how did they come about? Uh, we got our famous one, the home style, which is maple pecan, with a little bit of sesame seeds in there. That's always the favorite there. Yep. Then the fall harvest. We got the dried cranberries with the roasted pumpkin seeds. And then we play around, like this season, we got a uh, pumpkin spice and we just finished up a peanut butter pretzel one. And we do, we play around a lot with the flavors. And how do you eat your granola? Ah, right out of the bag <laughs> is the easiest way. Yeah. yeah. And what are ways people can eat it? Ah, mix it in yogurt, always goes good. And mix it in your, your plain oatmeal, just put milk on it. We got one guy that puts heavy cream on his. <laughs> Uh, Fojo Beans is all uh, specialty grade coffee roasted locally right now in Norwich, New York. We're in the process of moving to Hamilton where we're going to be opening a cafe in one or two months. And um, just, you know, going further into what makes uh, Fojo Coffee special, all of our coffees are what we like to call relationship coffees. And so okay. what that means is um, all of our coffees are uh, Fair certified fair trade, organic, uh, shade grown in Rainforest Alliance or, or a combination of all of the above. Uh, many of the coffees we source from, we, uh, we know the farmers uh, directly and personally, in fact. We, we speak with them, uh, telling them exactly what characteristics we're looking for in a coffee and they uh, work with us to, to give us exactly what we're looking for and you know we try to keep that relationship alive year after year. There are there's so many different characteristics you can get out of different coffees uh, you know speaking in, in generalities uh, African coffees tend to be really bright and fruity uh, coffees from Indonesia tend to be more more earthy and have a like a, a fuller body in the cup and then uh, you know, uh, South and Central Americans are, are usually a combination of, you know, different, different citruses and uh, uh, chocolatey notes that you'll get. Uh, what we do with a lot of our different coffees is make very particular blends uh, to, to mix together, you know, uh, different, different flavors so that they have the best uh, combination to give, uh, to, to always give the, give the right balance. And are you uh, an official taste tester? Uh, <laughs> I, I can't say I'm, I'm certified in anything, but I've, I've been in the industry for, for a number of years. To see what we can see, traveling around the world. 
I just like the bees, you know, and the honey nice. was just an extra thing. We gave it away for years. My wife and the kids, they all gave it away for Christmas presents. And, uh, and I realized it got to the point because we were also buying bottles to give away. And I said, let me see if I can sell it. So we started here at the train station and I was amazed at the demand for local honey. And uh, uh, people say, my doctor told me to eat local honey for my allergies. I said, oh, great. You know, give me your doctor's name. I'll send him a card, you know, or, <laughs> but uh, I was just overwhelmed by, uh, and every year we increase the number of hives. We're up to about 40 now. And uh, it's extremely labor intensive. But uh, uh, it's just nice to be able to produce a product. We try to use minimal pesticides and try to use organic uh, chemicals if we can. And uh, this year, uh, we had the least amount of hive loss. Usually in New York State, it's a 50% winter kill. And uh, so we only lost about 10% this year, which was great. I enjoy producing a good quality product that, like I said, is sustainably produced and um, I just enjoy the people. My wife said, why are you going? It's, you know, you're really not going to make that much money. Well, I have another job that I can support, you know, what I enjoy doing. So, uh, but, you know, we're, it's just nice to provide something that, you know, uh, is natural, sustainably produced, and it, it really has a great impact on people's health. We pretty much process everything that we grow. Um, if we need to source something out from us, we get it locally. It's all New York State. Um, we, we try to pretty much grow everything that we put in the jars, yeah. And where did you yeah. learn to do this? And, um, At my mom's side, yes, yeah. when I was little. And um, what's the secret to doing it? What, what skills do you have to have to do um, something like this? Keeping clean and hot, that's, that's the main thing and use good ingredients, good quality ingredients. You don't want to use stuff that's been sitting around for a while. You want good quality stuff that you just picked. I grew up on a ranch out west, so it's always been part of my, in my blood. My husband was out there working in a mining company in South Dakota, that's where I met him. And he said he was from a dairy farm in New York. I said, yeah, right. Now I know the rest of that story. <laughs> It's easy to get confused when you see a whole array of squash. It's confusing at times. We have a lot of the old-fashioned squash, which many of us uh, don't even know how to prepare. We have the new line of squash, which is more of a, a personal squash. It's single serve. You cut them in half. You serve them um, just as they are after you bake them. But there's a trick to all of the squash, and, and that's preserving it. These are all fall squash. They can. They can be preserved for two to three months in the right conditions. Wash them good, put a little Clorox, a little chlorine with water, flush it good, and what that does is it cleans all the bacteria that might be out in the field and it'll help preserve them. All squash has to be uh, either peeled, none of the squash have an edible peel to them. But there's several different ways of cooking it. A spaghetti squash you would cut in half like you would any of the others, but it's preferably microwave. You tip it upside down, a little water to steam it, and you cook it in the microwave, and then you rake out the inside, which is more like spaghetti. That's what gives it its name. Whereas some of the other squash, like butternut, which is probably the most popular, is peeled, cut up in chunks, cooked on the stove, cooked down, um, and it freezes very, very well. There was music in the valley. There was music in the air. There was music all around me. You work hard here in the Mohawk Valley. You make a difference. You leave your mark. You deserve a financial advisor who works to make a difference for your future. We work together for you. Investing for retirement, college, thinking about your legacy. Our team is dedicated to giving you straightforward answers for your financial decisions. We pride ourselves on being local, prudent, and trustworthy. For you, Van Meter and Van Meter, for your financial future.
Mark your calendars for the 42nd annual Herkimer County Arts and Crafts Fair, Saturday and Sunday, November 10th and 11th. The Mohawk Valley's premier arts and crafts event is wildly popular and continues to grow. This juried show is on the Herkimer College campus, November 10th and 11th. Enjoy a free concert by Chinese pianist Fei Fei on Sunday, October 21st at 3 p.m. And get your tickets for the mesmerizing San Jose Taiko, inspired by traditional Japanese drumming on Friday, November 2nd at 7.30 p.m. at Wellen Hall Schombach Center for Music and the Performing Arts at Hamilton College in Clinton. Your news, talk, and sports authority. Talk Radio, AM 1450, WKAL, Rome, Utica. Welcome to the Little Falls Antique Center in the shops at 25 West. Come on in and browse thousands of unique items that change on a daily basis. Shop for yourself or for someone else. We're open every day from 10 to 5. We look forward to your visit here at Historic Canal Place in Little Falls. Don't let pain stand in your way. Dr. Tucheron of Associated Chiropractic uses the latest in pain relief therapy technology. You can find totally natural pain relief through chiropractic adjustments and modern drugless technology. Interex Therapy is a non-invasive, interactive neurostimulation for the treatment of acute and chronic pain. Interex Therapy uses high amplitude, high density stimulation to the nerves, activating the body's natural pain relieving mechanisms. Don't live in pain. Call us today for a consultation. Hobby Hill Farm Sales is your outdoor equipment store. Check out their new location and large inventory of Mahindra tractors and utility vehicles at the corner of Turin and Elmer in Rome. Meelan's Market is your holiday meat headquarters, featuring boneless ham smoked, trimmed, and cured by Bob Meelan himself. Stuffed pork chops, low-salt, low-fat kielbasa, chicken cordon bleu, and remember to pre-order your Plainville turkey at Meelan's Market at the Four Corners in Clark Mills. Shop Black Cat Antiques and Gifts in Earlville for furniture, hand-stenciled signs, and vintage clothing. A little bit country and a little bit primitive. 14 East Main Street, Earlville. As the weather turns colder, families look for indoor activities, like Vista Lane Bowling Center on Oriskany Boulevard. New owner Tony LaPola started in the bowling business when he was a kid, and his work for AMF Bowling took him around the country. Now he and his family own and manage the neat, clean, and super fun Vista Lanes in Yorkville. I started out when I was 12 years old, picking up beer bottles, and here I am still working. I've been all over the country working for different companies. Now when you were 12, what bowling alley was that? That was called the Palace Bowling Center on Lafayette Street in Utica. And what year was that? Uh, 1954. And what is it about the sport that you like? Taking care of people. That's, my, that's what I like to do. And what is it that brings families to bowling? What do you think it attracts families to it? Well, we have a nice clean bowling center. And um, we, we cater to our bowlers. We have birthday parties, we have a big events, weekends, we do very good with open bowling. And tell me a little bit about modern bowling, how things have changed about score keeping and the bumpers. Well, bowling originally started, we had wood lanes. Now we are fortunate to have synthetic lanes. There's not as much maintenance as there used to be. Um, back in my early days, I used to resurface lanes. But now bowling is so unique in technology. We have automatic scoring. Um, we have the kids come in and uh, we put up the bumpers for them. And we have four pound balls, five pound balls, anything to help them out. And why do you think families like bowling? It's, it's a family sport. We have family specials. We have adult child leagues. Who's in the business with you? I have a son-in-law and my daughter. They're, um, they're all partners of mine. And um, we took, I was managing this bowling center for four years before that. So now we're in it together. And do you, did your family bowl a lot? Yes, my son-in-law is a very good bowler himself. So I, I still bowl, I'm still carrying about a 195 average. So even at my age, I still got it. Not a has-been yet. And what is the trick to being a good bowler? It's a little bit in the head. Practice, practice, practice. Vista Lanes Bowling Center is open seven days a week. 
Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, 3 to 10, Wednesday, 6 to 10, Friday and Saturday, 10 a.m. to 1 a.m., and Sunday, 10 to 5, at 550 Oriskany Boulevard in Yorkville. Don't worry about the colder days ahead, because you can always head south on South Street to Jamaica. That is Simmer Jamaican Restaurant in Utica. Authentic Jamaican food from the husband and wife team of Jonessa and Jermaine McCarthy. Cooking up island herbs and spice with a delightful bite. Well, we've been open since August 20th, so about a little bit over a month, about a month and a half. Very um, we opened because this is my, it's a family business. It's my husband's passion to cook Jamaican food, and we needed it in this area. I'm a Utica native, and we're here and want to be a part of the growing city. Now, your husband, where did he learn to cook? Well, he cooks by trade, if that makes sense. Um, he's worked in different restaurants throughout his life, and he just does it. And why Jamaican food? Because he's Jamaican. <laughs> he's a Jamaican chef. He's been here for about 10 years, so he still has the authenticity of it. And I think jerk chicken uh, was going to be the big draw, but lately it's been oxtail. And I think it's the way he's pre he prepares it, and it has a creamy gravy sauce, and that's the one that people have been coming for the most. Uh -huh. And so how's it been? You've only been open a little over a month. How's the reception been? Uh, great, excellent. Uh, more than we probably, not more than we could handle, but more than we imagined to start, to be a new business. Uh, it's been great. Great. And what's your favorite food on the menu? Uh, my favorite is Festival, which is like a corn, it's sort of kind of, I, I guess, like um, fried dough, but it's not fried dough. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Okay. Tell me where your husband learned to cook. Where did, where did the origin start? Grandma, his grandmother, who was born in Jamaica and who's no longer with us, so he's very passionate about it. From the way he stirs the pot to the way the food is prepared, he learned from Grandma. I'm so proud to call it my home. It's not what you take for give. It's here. Steet Ponte Auto Group is proud to bring Mohawk Valley Living to you each week, serving the Utica area and the Valley with outstanding customer service. In Yorkville at Steet Ponte Ford Lincoln Mazda, Steet Ponte Volkswagen, and Steet Toyota Scion. And in Herkimer at Steet Ponte Chevrolet. Stop in and see why it's so easy to do business with Steet Ponte. Trust your personal, business, and life insurance planning to a local company with over 150 years of serving the community. Turn to Turnbull Insurance. Call today to see what we can do for your family or business. 735-9201 or visit turnbull-insurance.com. Heading out on the beverage trails this year? Then make a stop at the Farmer's Museum in Cooperstown for Hops on Tap. At every stop in the 19th century historic village, you'll learn about hops, past and present. Ask me about hops. Ask me about hops. Ask me about hops. You'll also find our Hoppy Trails tours, tavern talks, and more. For information and a $2 off coupon, visit FarmersMuseum.org. The Farmers Museum in Cooperstown. Step back to a better time. Make any day a special day and a special day even better with fresh baked pastries and cookies from Cafe Caruso on Bleecker Street in East Utica. Stop in or call ahead for special orders. The people you know, the rock you love, and more songs per hour. 92.7 FM, The Drive, Central New York's locally owned independent rock station. Celebrate the season at North Star Orchards with sweet cider, fresh baked pies, and cider donuts. 
Add some autumn color with decorative gourds, Indian corn, and corn stalks. Celebrate autumn at North Star Orchards in Westmoreland. We're going on a road trip. Go on along, pack up the family. What happens when a hobby becomes a business? You end up with a house full of pumpkins. Omar Masood has been known for his Christmas trees for a long time, but now pumpkins are appearing everywhere, and his weekends are filled with hay rides and corn mazes. This is our third year in the pumpkin business, but been 45 years in the uh, Christmas tree business. And ironically, the Christmas tree business is starting the same way as our pumpkin business is starting now, which is uh, an interesting story. Uh, we planted Christmas trees just for the kids and the, my children and their friends to, to get a, go out in the field and cut a Christmas tree. Well, we started with the pumpkins the same way. Well, what happened with both of them, they kept bringing, their friends kept bringing their friends and so on and so forth. So he says, hey, let's start charging them. <laughs> so here we go. We started another, we started another uh, enterprise with uh, a hobby, so to speak. You don't get rich, but the quality of life is, uh, I spent 26 years in the banquet restaurant business and I wouldn't be alive today if I stayed there. <laughs> and tell me about some of the things you offer for Christmas. Oh my gosh, you got uh, cut your own Christmas tree. Uh, we have them pre-cut. We have them up to 20 feet, 25 feet some. We, we installed some, we installed a 35 foot le tree last year at the auditorium. Uh, of course, you got the reeds and the gift shop, and I'd like to show you the gift shop if you don't mind. Oh, that's fine. Yep. Um, and um, tell me who in your family is helping you here on the farm? Uh, well, two sons and their wives, and their wives, in order for them to marry a son, they had to sign the agreement that they'll work for Christmas free of charge, <laughs> and, and, the, and, the, and the kids and the children. So uh, that's working out pretty good. <laughs> they do a lot of decorating and, and stuff like that. And the uh, oldest grandchild is 16, and she does a wonderful job of decorating uh, uh, tr Reese and, and her sister, her 14-year-old sister. And you told me your other, other grandkids fill your house with pumpkins. Oh, my. They, well, we have the free pumpkin ride. Yep. And they go out with their customers, and they pick a pumpkin every time they go out. Well. They bring it in my house. They don't take it home. They bring it in my house. They don't even put it on my porch. And my house is just full of pumpkins. My wife won't get rid of them because the kids picked them out. Cause I'm 